Hi everyone. Welcome to Poisonous People. Today we're going to continue our mini course on gaslighting by looking at five things that are not considered gaslighting. And these five things would not be considered gaslighting in both the old school or classical model of gaslighting as well as the more modern understanding of gaslighting. Now, if you don't know what I mean by old school versus modern, please check out the first video in this series where I explain it all for you. The first thing on our list that gaslighting is not is lying or breaking a promise. Now, I first came across this about a year ago when I was talking with a client who came to her session and said, oh my gosh, I had an awful weekend. My boyfriend tried to gaslight me. Now, this is a pretty serious accusation because gaslighting's reputation has always been pretty sinister. So when we accuse somebody of gaslighting, we're actually accusing them of serious psychological and emotional abuse. So I asked this client to clarify. I said, what happened? And she said, well, my boyfriend told me that he was going to do the dishes and then he didn't. So I said to her, I'm so sorry, but I'm not clear on how that's gaslighting. Could you explain that to me? And she said, well, because he made me believe something that wasn't true. Lying is inherently deceitful. It's not necessarily abusive. To be honest, I don't know if this particular individual was lying to my client or if when he promised that he was going to do the dishes, he was completely honest and he had every intention of doing the dishes when he told her he would, but then later something happened that caused him to break the promise. Either way, this isn't gaslighting. It's just a lie. Is lying a part of the gaslighting machine? Absolutely. Is lying by itself considered gaslighting? No. Number two is honestly questioning reality. Let me give you an example of what this could look like. Let's say there's a new hire at work and your colleague approaches you and says, hey, you know, the new guy seems pretty nice. What's his name? And you say, I think it's John. And your colleague says, really, are you sure it's John? Because I could have sworn it was Jim. This is not gaslighting. So even though somebody may be presenting this question to you in a manner that you may have picked up from YouTube videos or articles on the internet, yes, I mean, somebody saying, are you sure his name is Jim? That's what gaslighting could sound like, but the context is completely not a gaslighting context. It's not that they're trying to get you to doubt yourself. They are doubting themselves and they want you to provide clarity to them. So while it's true that this statement might sound like gaslighting, you really have to look at the motive and the intent behind the question. A third thing that gaslighting is not would be disagreement. And this is a big one. It's okay for people to express their opinion, whether it's an opinion about us or an opinion about some issue, some social political issue in the world today. It's not gaslighting because expressing one's opinion doesn't necessarily mean that our opinion is invalid. A fourth thing that is not gaslighting would be denial. Denial is a psychological defense mechanism where somebody is not agreeing with the truth. Denial would be that I refuse to accept the truth. I reject the truth even in light of overwhelming evidence. It's usually when the truth is so threatening to our ego that the fight or flight mind protects us from this horrible truth that we can't accept and we just deny it. So an example might be 
if a serial killer is arrested, the mother of the serial killer might say, oh no, that's not my son. My son could never do that. Is the mother trying to gaslight society and convince us all that we have the wrong guy? No, she is just in denial. Denial can also be unconscious or conscious. When we are consciously denying something, we could kick this back to number one and just call that lying. The intent of lying would be to deceive, but the intent of, of denial would be to, for self-preservation, to protect ourselves. Unconscious denial might be when somebody really honestly doesn't realize that something is true and they're denying it and they don't even realize they're denying it. They can honestly believe that they are telling the truth. So let's say that Joe has a crush on Sally and people start to tease him about it and they say, oh, Joe, you have a crush on Sally. And Joe says, no, I don't. The point of that is not to deceive anyone, not to convince anyone that their reality isn't real or that reality in general isn't real. Joe has his own perspective and he may be denying that because he rejects the feelings or he may know he has the feelings and he's rejecting it in order to save face. And the fifth and final thing on our list today that is not gaslighting would be correction. Now, people often forget that sometimes they're wrong. And when other people try to correct them, if the person isn't humble enough to consider the fact that they might be wrong, they can mistake honest correction as gaslighting. And this happens quite a bit with people who have been gaslighted in the past, people who have been manipulated. They're on hyper alert that they don't want that to happen to them again. So they may become very set in their ways. They may say to themselves, no, this is what I believe. This is what I know. And nobody's going to convince me otherwise. But they forget that they can genuinely be incorrect. And so when somebody tries to correct them, that person can turn around and accuse their friend or whoever of gaslighting, and that's not what's happening at all. And I will say that I have come very close to this situation in my sessions with certain clients because I am working with people who have been abused and traumatized psychologically. There have been many times when I try to correct them. Nobody ever accused me of gaslighting, but I can tell you some of these conversations did become pretty heated and I was just waiting any minute now I said to myself somebody's gonna flat out accuse me of gaslighting them I might challenge your thinking a little bit and I may if asked correct you on an issue that I might feel that you're wrong on but that doesn't mean that I'm gaslighting you it could be completely possible that your understanding is already incorrect. And so when somebody tries to correct you, they're actually trying to set you straight. Now, before I end this video, I just want to make it very clear that even if you have not technically been gaslighted, that does not deny your experience. And so think about it. It's still possible to have suffered from abuse if the abuse wasn't physical. We're not denying that experience. We're just saying that you didn't have this other experience of physical abuse. You may have been the target of emotional abuse, psychological abuse, financial abuse, even physical abuse. But if you weren't gaslighted, you weren't gaslighted. So I hope this video has cleared this up for you a little bit. If it's still as clear as mud, let me know in the comments what are you still confused about? Is there anything else that I can answer? And remember, we're not done with the series. So we still have a few videos left to go and I will see you in the next one. My name 
name is Jen Guerriero, and this is Poisonous People. See you in the next video.